would you like us to solve all the other questions in this paper? What's the 2024 private candidate? Elective mathematics, further mathematics, paper one. Then kindly subscribe to this channel if you have not done so yet. And also share this video. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so the question says that the curve y minus 2 is equal to 4 over x and the line 3 y plus x equal negative 11, negative 1, intersect at two points. Find the coordinates of the points of intersection. Equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line joining the point. So, to find the point of intersection of two equations or two curve, a curve and a line, we have to solve the two equations simultaneously. So, the equation of the curve is y equal 4 over x plus 2. If I make y the subject, that is equation 1. Then, the second equation is the equation of the straight line which is 3y plus x is equal to negative 1. We call this equation 2. So we can put equation 1 into equation 2. Whatever I see y, I put 4 over x plus 2. So y will be equal to, sorry, so we have 3, we have 3 into bracket 4 over x plus 2 plus x is equal to negative 1. So let's expand 3, 4, 12 over x plus 3, 2, 6 plus x is equal to negative 1. So we can multiply through by x so that we will get 12 plus 6x. x times x will be x squared. Negative 1 times x will be negative x. So we can rewrite this equation in the standard quadratic form starting with the x squared plus the 6x then we group like terms plus x so the negative x crosses become positive then plus 12 is equal to 0 so this will further simplify to x squared plus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0. What do we do next? We have to factor. Two factors of 12 that will add up to 7 is 4 and 3. So because the coefficient of x squared is 1, you can just write a factored form as x plus 3, x plus 4 is equal to 0. But if the coefficient of x squared is not 1, you can do it like that. You can you have to go through the splitting the middle term and factor by grouping factorization by grouping. So now that we have this either x plus three is equal to zero or x plus four equals zero. So we will get x to be equal to negative 3 or x equal negative 4. So we can use the equation 1 to find the corresponding y values. Remember we said y is equal to 4 over x plus 2. So when x is equal to negative 3, y will be equal to 4 y be equal to 4 over negative 3 plus 2. 
and this simplifies to 2 over 3 and when x is equal to was it negative 4 when s is got negative 4 y will be equal to 4 over negative 4 plus 2 and that will simplify to 1 therefore the points of intersection of the curve are negative 3 comma 2 over 3 and negative 4 comma 1 that is where the lines the line the straight line and the curve intersect now the b part says we should find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line joining the points so to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector what do we have to do we need to first of all find the slope of the line using the two points that we got remember the points are what you are seeing on the screen on your screen so the slope m is given by y1 minus y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so this is x1 y1 x2 y2 so 1 minus 2 over 3 all over negative 4 minus negative 3 and this will be equal to 1 minus 2 over 3 will be 1 over 3 over negative 4 plus 3 will be negative 1 and this will simplify to negative 1 over 3 so the slope is negative 1 over 3 now we need to find the midpoint of the line joining the two points so we recall the midpoint formula so the midpoint formula is given by x1 plus x2 over 2 y1 plus y2 over 2 so remember this is x1 y1 x2 y2 so let's find that so x1 plus y1 will be negative 3 plus negative 4 then we have 2 over 3 plus 1 over 2 so this simplifies to give us negative 7 over 2 and 5 over 6 so these are the midpoint coordinate of the midpoints of the two points now what next we know the slope to be negative 1 over 3 we know the midpoint so the perpendicular bisector will pass through the midpoint and the gradient is of the perpendicular bisector will be negative 1 over m so recall that the equation can be found by y minus y1 equation of the perpendicular bisector will be y minus y1 equal m so the m now is the gradient of the perpendicular bisector which is the reciprocal of the equation of the tangent the gradient of the tangent so what we found here is actually the gradient of the tangent so the gradient gradient of the line perpendicular sorry not a tangent so this is the gradient of the line connecting these two points so the perpendicular bisector will be this one so the negative 1 over 3 is the gradient of the green line perpendicular bisector will be since they are perpendicular it will be the negative reciprocal is negative 1 over m so that is what why we are using this one here so into bracket x minus x1 so we have y minus y1 so this is y1 and this is x1 which is 5 over 6 so y minus y1 which is 5 over 6 
is equal to negative 1 over negative 1 over 3 to bracket x minus x1 which is negative 7 over 2 so we can simplify now y minus 5 over 6 is equal to negative over negative we get neg we get positive 1 over 1 over 3 will be 3 x plus 7 over 2 when we multiply through by 6 we get 6y minus 5 is equal to 18 into brackets x plus 7 over 2 we can expand this one further so we will get 6y minus 5 is equal to 18x plus 7 over 2 times 18 and that will give us 63 so when we simplify everything we are supposed to get 18x the 6y goes to the other side to get to give us minus 6y and the 63 comes to the left hand side to get to give us negative 68 so that is the equation of the line, the perpendicular bisector of the line joining the points.